Hyrule Warriors relied too heavily on packing a bunch of Zelda references in a Warriors game, and it was tied together by a loose story that wasn't memorable. Yes, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is a hack and slash that has lots of cameos in it, but it also captures the charm of the franchise thanks to how focused it is. Within its title, the game promises to deliver players an experience centered around an event that is often referenced in Breath of the Wild, but never shown, the Great Calamity. And trust me, it delivers. The game is stacked with cutscenes that not only expand the lore, but also dives deeper into building on already familiar characters. Seeing the exchanges between the four champions made them more complex and intriguing than when we first saw them, and that had me appreciating them more. With the game taking place before Breath of the Wild, the combat pretty much writes itself. You're able to use familiar weapons like the Master Sword and Sheikah Slate. It's not an easy feat to encompass the feeling of open world combat within a sandbox hack and slash game, but the Age of Calamity does it. Players can use familiar attacks like Flurry Rush and game physics like using stasis to launch objects at Book Hoblins. Even each character's combat feels true to their movements as NPCs. There are so many options when approaching battle that gives players the freedom you'd want from an open world game. There are a few small hiccups in the frame rate, but despite that, the authentic combat combined with a well thought out story makes this game feel like a large scale DLC for Breath of the Wild. At its core, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is Koei Tecmo's love letter to Breath of the Wild that perfectly mirrors everything we love about the game. So if you're a fan, then this is a must play.